Hello, my name is Martin and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this episode of Makerbox Mondays, I'm going to have a look at a filament from an India tech called T-Tac, a flexible filament. So let's have a look after the intro. So this is a flexible filament from Ninja Tech called Tita. I'm hoping I'm saying that name right. And, uh, you can see here how it's spelled. <laughs> and here they say that you should print at 230 to 240. And I was printing at 230 for this filament and that was giving me great results. And here they say the bed temperature should be room temperature to 40 C and speeds 30 to 45. And in my profile that I was using, I was using 25 millimeters per second and had great results. And you can have the fan at 100%. And here they say, use glue stick or blue tape. Do not print on PI without coating. And the thing is with this flexible TPU type of filament, they fuse to the PI sheet. So if you have a PI sheet, please use some uh, glue stick or, 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 or other coats for for release agents. But here they say Tita flexible filament is the fastest and easiest to print flexible filament on the market. The focus in development of this material was to optimize the user experience. The result is a filament that is printable across all types of desktop 3D printers at ABS and PLS speeds. And I'm not sure if, if you can really print at, at any PLA speed, you can print PLA at 100 millimeters a second, but uh, I think you should uh, slow it down a little bit, but uh, it says here it's many times, uh, many, many times twice the speed of all the flexible materials on the market, so it's a little bit confusing, <laughs> either many times or twice the speed, I don't know. <laughs> Tita filament possesses industry leading durability along with impact strength 84% greater than ABS. The abrasion resistance is also second only to Ninja Tech's Armadillo product, making Tita the perfect blend of speed, toughness and strength. Um, here's the website, Ninja Tech. Com. But I, I was getting excellent results with this flexible filament. Um, I printed the overhang test and I wasn't really expecting a good result from, from this, but I got just excellent results. The only small surface issues with a 70 degree overhang, but it held up really nice and, and did, didn't have any issues. And you can bend this any way you can. <laughs> it's truly a flexible filament. I uh, then did my make coin, and here you can see a little bit of stringing, but nothing too serious. But this came out excellent, and I had some infill in this, so it's not as flexible as a, as all the prints. Um, but then I did the sear layers a lot, and I was expecting a lot more stringing. There are only a few strings in this print, and this is hollow inside, and you can flex this in any direction. <laughs> and just always comes back to shape, so layer adhesion with this filament is excellent and it's uh, that, like a truly flexible filament. Uh, you can do whatever you do want, this will uh, just hold together. Um, like I said, only a small amount of stringing in this model. Um, then I did Mr. Belly and this model for some reason had uh, more stringing. Uh, I'm not sure exactly why I, I was printing this the day after the other ones and it might be because of moisture got in the filament overnight um, before I just print it straight out of the box out of the back and that has a desiccant in it so this stringy issue might be my fault because of moisture you really have to dry out flexible filaments so that's that's my guess because on, on this model that I printed the day before, I didn't get any serious stringing, but here you can see quite a lot of stringing. So I guess this is because of moisture and that is my fault. <laughs> but this was coming pretty good, the, the letters came out really nice and, and this is like the other models. You can bend this in any way and, and I can't pull the, pull the legs off, <laughs> it's really strong. <laughs> that was my overview of the Tita filament from Nidatec. It's a flexible filament that seems to be very easy to print and, and didn't have any any issues printing. I was printing at 
25 millimeters per second, but they say that you can print up to 45. But I didn't try that, but uh, you can, it depends maybe on your extruder setup what what you can do. But I was getting really good print quality with this filament, and much less stringing than I expected for a TPU. And I, I guess my latest model with a Mr. Belly had some moisture in the filament after one day of being around without any desiccant, so that's probably the case, but uh, uh, this is some filament that you can check out, it is really flexible and, and easy to print, and that's something that doesn't always go together, <laughs> but this will be it for this video, uh, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.